Hi, so I've had a request to do a tutorial on how to do a mosaic blur which is used in censorship sort of issues or where you don't want to see someone's face and Premiere's got a really fantastic function that allows you to do it really quickly and automatically track the object. So to do this what I'm going to do is come down to the effects window and I can select it from down here and you can go to effects. If you can't see it there you could go up to window and open up effects here as well. And from here I'm going to type in mosaic and I want to stylize mosaic. This effect here I'm going to click and drag onto the actual area here and you can see it's applied it to the whole um, section. And I'm going to go to effects and that brings up this option here. So this is actually the whole clip I can skip forward and backwards from. And these are little masks that I can apply. And I'm just going to go to the elliptical tool and I'm just going to move this now over there and I can change the shape of it. So if I wanted it to be about there and I can feather it if I wanted to so blur out the edges of it a bit. I can have some more horizontal blocks vertical blocks and now it's starting to look a bit more like it's a, uh, a crime scene I suppose and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the clip back to the beginning now you'll see it stops moving there where it's at. I'm just going to go from here and I'm going to click this track mask selected mask forward thing here. So if I just do that what it's going to do now is going to try and track and keep hold of that position Now as you can see, it is tracking all the way through. If I stop this now. You'll notice it's actually moving with the person's face now. So it would lose it if it was to go into an object where he is actually in view. But if I was to process now the whole video, that would stay on his face as long as he was always in view. So that's how you do a censorship blur in Premiere CC.